mean, he ain't avoiding Paul. Paul ain't doing shit. I mean, it's a joke, man. He he dish it out all the time. I don't give a One thing I want to, um, you mentioned uh, Bernie Mac, a conversation with Bernie Mac. He told you, don't be afraid to fail. I consider And I was. Mm. So, it took me a long time to learn not to be. Bernie has um, expressed that in other interviews. Like, I saw an interview he did with Charlie Rose in 2002. And it was like this thing of you can't be afraid to fail. And I noticed that, for me, the really great comedians were fearless in how they approached it. Where it's like, I'm going to say some shit. This might crash and burn, but I'm going to attempt to do it. Um, when you craft your jokes, are you pulling from that type of energy? When you know, when you write something down, this is going to cross the line. But do you do it anyway? Like, where does, what energy are you pulling from to create your jokes? I don't even. First, I don't write. Second of all, fans don't get no um, consideration in the process. Because if you appease to them, you're going to be on a slippery slope. So you got to write your jokes with the best intentions. I don't have malice and heinous in me. It's fun it's coming from that way. If it sting you, it's probably because it applies to you. Mm. And ain't nothing I could do about that. Pray, I mean, pray, get your life together. This, I just caught a, a portrait at a point that you in your life at this time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't define who you are unless you allow it to be mm -hmm. who you are. That's between you, your Lord and Savior. But it ain't my fault that I didn't f around and caught this pitch in your ass right now where you And you laying that up opened up an, another conversation when it deals with a roast that you did. Um, John Witherspoon roast. Yes. You know, and in that, uh, what year was that? Early 2000s? Yeah, somewhere. Right yeah. There. Yeah. He cracked the joke that, honestly, I think a lot of people always kind of like had that in-house conversation when it comes to Paul Mooney. But you went ahead and just... Said it. Said it on TV in front of uh, his peers. Yes. Where, 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 did you know you was going to say it that night? No, I, it's this nigga, his name Dez, dirty nigga, that dirty bastard. Well, anyway, we, we was getting high, and I said, I got this roast to go to, and I get, he owed me 200, so I said, wipe the 200 off and give me something. So anyway, I love Paul. Paul pissed me off. Mm. Well, I pissed off. I was with um, Diana Ross' daughter at Soul Trade Wars. Tracy? Tracy, yeah. Okay. And in my mind, I was close. You hear me, nigga? We were sitting beside each other. She was ready, ready. Tell you now, Tracy might argue it now. But I'm telling you, nigga. Yeah. I, you know when you close. You know what I mean? Words flowing. I got Tracy. Nigga, I'm right here. We had the Soul Trade in my I got good seats, and I'm by beside a rose. This nigga Paul get up there and start talking about her mama. That's what she did talking about the drunk motherfucker. I heard about that. She got yeah. sad that night. Yes, I was beside her. She cried. I said, "God," and I never forgave him. Wait a second. So you was next to Tracy while yeah. Paul was going in on Diana. Yeah. You thought this was a... I wasn't thought, nigga. I'm telling you, you know when you're at the club, drinks flowing. You know when you're close. I don't, I, nigga, listen. I done lost a couple of fights in the 12th round. But, nigga, I was leading on the motherfucking score cards, the cards with Tracy. Yeah. And I don't want my looking like that ain't possibility. Look at Tracy. She ain't never had no handsome nigga like me. What's wrong with y'all? Well, anyway, check this out. So I'm having her, and I got her, nigga, and I'm telling her on this, you know it. This nigga Paul get up there. That's when Donna Ross just had the DUI, Copy. and she hit some stuff like this. This nigga went on in front of everybody. Yeah, that drunken man. She got up and ran out, uh, and then later the roast came, and I saw him, and I had to get him. So, yeah. and plus Paul hit everybody else. So when I hit him <laughs> with 
one made him mad when I, I remember like it was yesterday. Paul is the proof. <laughs> Paul is proof that everybody got a gay uncle that don't want to be told about. Man, you should have seen everybody in that moment. They were scared to laugh because, you know, Paul, Paul is mister. He beats you up. You ain't no real nigga. He called that nigga car from him. And the worst nigga nigga in Hollywood want to collect that money and then be looking at it as a sellout. Paul was the master. You, they go, nigga, you ain't no real nigga. You know right, what I mean? Right. He was the stamp if you was a real nigga in, um, in Hollywood. So for me to say that. But it was still just a joke. Right. Man, Paul, you know, they they went to a uh, break, cut for the commercial. I went in the bathroom. Paul was in there. Brother, that was not funny at all. <laughs> I said, your, your jokes are terrible. <laughs> Something to that fact. I said, Paul, it's a roast. Right. Come down the roast. I never knew it till he got back up there. And when I tell you that nigga went dark, an earthquake, you could eat out the ass of my ass when there is no light. I said, Paul. You think you had really pissed him off at that? Oh time? yeah, I know I did. I was back that bitch like, ugh. <laughs> that nigga said some shit like this. You can eat. Out of the back of my ass where there's never been light. Something. I was like, oh. Did, in the spirit of like rectifying things, were you and him able to cross paths and at least address? No, nah, he still hate me. He even hate me, he got all timers. He remember me. When he see me, that nigga snap out of it. That nigga, that nigga. That nigga might not know nobody else, but when he see my black ass, that nigga come back to 2020. <laughs> I seen that <laughs> at one of our shows, and uh, Mike Epps had him there. That, that wasn't fine. I said, that nigga ain't got no all time. That nigga know he, he if y'all want to see Paul, just get me in front of him. That nigga come right back and know it's Christmas. You guys just avoided each other the whole time? I mean, ain't avoiding Paul. Paul ain't doing shit. I mean, it's a joke, man. He, he dish it out all the time. I don't care. If he mad about that on that, then, you know, he is, man. There wasn't no malice in it. You know what I mean? We was at a roast. Ain't like I talked about, like he do it at Soul Training Wars, at events. We was at a roast. That's what you do. It was the proper form for the is for what I did. There wasn't no malice. And if he got a problem with it. Paul, man, Paul ain't f***ing with nobody, man. He 200 years old. I, I might lose to some nigga, but I ain't losing to no nigga that's 200. Now, did uh, Tracy ever find out about what you did? Tracy who? Tracy Ellis Ross. Did she ever, like... Um, no, I, I, don't think, I don't think it moved her as much as it moved for me. I think the traumatic, what it went through of... Because he admitted, you know, just did that in front of her peers and... It was that and that part of it. Me, you know, that probably was an afterthought after you seeing that. I, you know, tri um, um, Aunt is my friend. Um, Anthony Annis is a close friend of mine. So, of course, they're on the show together. So I've seen her a couple of times, but she doesn't. Well, she ain't never told me, hey, yeah, you know, I meant to give you that ass that day. <laughs> But it didn't happen, so she just, you know, she never said that. So it didn't mean that much to her like it did for me. But I had to get Paul for that shit, dude. He blew it. I'm telling you, nigga, I was there. I was in the red zone. I was in the red zone, nigga. I know, listen, nigga, I was in the red zone. You had her laughing a little bit. Oh, uh, nigga, laughing, feeling all on my leg. They, they, they was in there, nigga. I could have got a Me Too moment if I wanted to, nigga. It was that dirty, nigga. I had it like that, and Paul up, nigga. I'll never forgive him for that shit, nigga. Talk about her mother like that, nigga.